Hey everybody, Mike here, July 29th, 2016. Thank God it's Friday. <coughs> yeah, thank God it's Friday. Hey, thanks to everybody that subscribed last week. I do appreciate that very much. Don't forget, man, check out some of the old videos. You know what to do. Also, happy birthday to Tony Stark. And also, happy birthday to Mama Guebo from The Big Beast Bear and me. Also, shout outs to Jaden, Craze Normus, <laughs> April Mume Asylum, Zect, and I'm a Girl, 1976. Boom! Oh, that one flew all the way past and all the way to the back. Today's Little Food Jam is from a friend of mine who works at Lili's uh, Asian uh, grocery store. I stopped by there today. I didn't know she was going to be working today, but I saw her. Kim was there. I walked in through the front door. She screams out my name and she says, hang on, I'll be right back. And she grabs several things for me to try on the show. I didn't even have to go shopping today. How about that? Blazam. I love the way that works. Also, somebody gave me a tip in here about a place that does uh, that sends out snacks. Um, every month, I think you could do like a, it snacks from all over the world. And I'm thinking about maybe uh, subscribing to that. So they'll send me this and I'll do one of those every month. Anyway, Kim, what, what Kim gave me today um, were three things from there. One, she said they just got in. They have, they normally have them in separate, but she said they got them in a combination this time. Also, she says, I know how sensitive you are, Mike, to uh, Mr. Caffeine. So... What she wanted me to do was she wanted me to open up this guy first and sip on it as I'm going through the show. Mr. Brown, macadamia nut, iced coffee. Man, that do well, that might look a little like Quentin Tarantino if he lays off the burgers. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Mr. Brown, Mr. Brownstone, we've been dancing with Mr. Brownstone. Oh my God. Guns and Roses, man. That's, that's some old stuff there. Uh, also, she got me from the Sunshine Bakery these four little combo snippets. It's got tapioca starch, sugar, mung beans, coconut, cassava, soybean oil, pandan fl flavors, and it's got flavors. Flavors, so you know it's good when it has the ingredient of flavors. I don't know what any of these are. She rambled them off really quick what they were. I went, huh? With a big old question mark over my head. I said, thank you, and I was on my way. Also, she got me some roasted black rice crackers. Have you ever heard of black rice crackers? Have you ever heard of white rice crackers? I've heard of white rice crackers. Who makes those flat ones and... Sometimes when people are on diets, they'll eat one of those with some peanut butter. And it's like eating a piece of cardboard. Like, oh, the most tasteless things. I forget who makes them. Anyway, these are roasted black rice crackers. So the roasted tells me these are going to probably taste pretty awesome. All right, let's get this uh, Mr. Brown opened up and slapped into the ice. Oh, macadamia nut iced coffee. Oh, Snapzilla. That. So, oh, 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 man, look at that. I measured the ice just right. You know what this smells like? Oh, unbelievable. My God, must be the macadamia nut. I don't know that's making it smell that way. It smells like Cheerios. I swear to God. It's not frosted Cheerios, not any of that, just plain, plain Cheerios. It smells just like Cheerios. Oh, was I supposed to shake this first? No, it just says ready to drink. It doesn't say shake now. Product of Taiwan. Expiration date on bottom of the can. Oh, a whole darn year. We got a year to go. Let me take a little bit off the top here. Mr. Brown, macadamia nut iced coffee. Thanks, Kim. Number one, that's strong. Number two, oh, if I get rid of that air bubble, it tastes just like Cheerios. 
Are you kidding me? If you're in an Asian Asian grocery Asian, if you're in an Asian grocery store and you happen to come across the Mr. Brown macadamia nut iced coffee, pick it up, taste it. You tell me if it doesn't taste like Cheerios. That is, if you've tasted Cheerios before. Ah, all right. What should I start on with? The cakes or the? I'll do the roasted blackberry crackers first. Right. Start out with food, then we'll do dessert later. What the? It had the rip tab, but it didn't wrap up, rip on that side. Did it rip on this side? Yo, it ripped that time on this side. Wow, that smells awfully. Ah, uh, smells stale. Just stale. Palm oil, black rice, almond, pumpkin seeds. Contains tree nut. Made in a facility which uses tree nut. So if it contains tree nut, I should hope it's made in a facility that uses tree nuts. Oh, it's, they smell horrible. Oh. Geesh, they smell stale. They're just these, what the hell's that on the bottom? That must be a tree nut on the side. That looks like a little worm maggot right there. Ah, oh. all right. Roasted brown rice cracker. They taste nothing like they smell. They have this off color. I don't know if you can see the way that looks in the light, but it has this off-colored wake. It looks like it has a fine layer of mold on it. But it's not mold, it's just the stuff that's on it. What does this taste like? Other than a brown roasted black rice cracker, where'd brown come from? This also tastes like a cereal. This is weird. It tastes like rel <laughs> It tastes like yellow grits with a hint of oats. With a rice flavor. That is so strange. These are actually pretty good. Thanks, Kim. Mmm. It has another flavor that I'm missing. Oh, a Triscuit. It tastes like a wheat Triscuit. That's what it tastes like. Hmm. Wash some of this down with the with the brownstone. I'm trying to see if it lists. I'm trying to see if it lists a uh, amount of caffeine, but it doesn't state it. But I could tell you right. I've only drank that much. I can feel it a little in my head already. All right, let's get him. That was a piece of ice. Oh my God, I am a mess today. It can't be the coffee me affecting me that quick already. It probably is. It probably is. Ugh. Okay. So we have this white, looks like it's got coconut on it. This, oh, that's, that's wrapped him. that's in the, this is individually wrapped. Interesting. That's not individually wrapped, and that's just like a jelly thing. All right, let's try one of these little jelly, jelly pieces first. I don't smell anything at all.
it tastes like a sweet gelatin. I don't really taste anything else. No lime flavors or lemon flavors would be yellow, I would think. That's a weird texture. Very sticky and stretchy spongy. I can't get a flavor off of that. Let's try this brown, this brown thing. Let's cut a piece off of this. That smells like coconut. Bah, I don't like that one. Ugh. There's this really dark Mexican candy. Not from here in the States, but like in Mexico. And that's what that tastes like. I've never liked the taste of those things. What is this? Ah, oh, this is one of those raw dough ball things. Ugh, yuck. That can't be dough. Oh. Wow, Kim. The coconut I can taste on the outside, but this yellow stuff that's in the middle, let me just get some of that. It tastes like a sweet bean of some kind. Oh, I crumbled up the ingredients. Not soybean, mung bean. The others must be the tapioca starch. Ah. I don't like those too much. Let's see what this thing does. And why is it individually wrapped? Wait a minute, that looks like this, it looks like the outside of this with the inside of this. Is that what that is? Are they trying to trick me? Now I can get a big old solid yellow piece of this. Let's try it. That's what it is. It's like sweet beans. And this yeah, this green, it is. It's the same as that. <laughs> so they mixed and matched. However, I can say that the yellow mixed with this green stuff tastes better than the coconut mixed with this yellow stuff. Let me just get some of that coconut on the outside. All right, there it is. Thanks, Kim. Thank you very much, Kim, for finding me in the store and giving it to me. And guess what? I can feel this right now. Holy Toledo, I can feel that. I am really super sensitive to caffeine. Oh, I feel it. I do feel it. You know what? I'm going to bang off some ouzo again. What is that El Paso? El Paso, Texas. I live in Texas. Oh, El Paso, what a town. Oh my gosh. The outskirts. Horrifying. There's right at the outskirts of El Paso, there's that huge, I don't know if it's a beef processing plant or what, but for miles, oh my God, it smells so putrid. It doesn't smell like manure. It smells like ammonia because of all the urine. Oh, just thinking about that sounds so gross. Yeah, that's got me. That's got a grip on me. Oh, I'm going to have to knock back something tonight probably to go to sleep because that's probably going to keep me up, 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 up. Oh, cheers. Ooh. 
That was a big shot of Uzo. Oh, excuse me. You're only supposed to take a little. Oh, but that was a lot. Because little don't do it. So I got to try a little. Oh, forget it. I was going to. Oh, here it comes. That's it. <laughs> Get some sun. Get some exercise. Be healthy. And I'll send you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> getting shaky. I can feel it. I'm not even going to cut that out and put it in the bloopers. I'm just going to leave it right where it sits. Wow, that's it. Thanks, Kim. My head's going a million miles an hour. I'm breaking some top sweat here, even though the AC's running and everything feels cool down here. Thank you, Kim, very, so very much for the Mr. Brown Macadamia Nut Iced Coffee, the Roasted Black Rice Crackers, and the Assorted what were these called? Bon Top Cam. All kinds of squishy gooey. Thank you so much. That's it. I am out of here. Get some sun. Get some exercise. Be healthy. And I'll see you when? Next time. Bye. over to Lily's. I'm walking. I drove over to Lily. Lily. <laughs> <Lee -Lee. laughs> All right, let's get him. Get him. Get him. Get him.